I see this cable guy. I see Donna directly in front of him. She gets up from off her knees in front of him because there's that a rat. That is absolutely untrue. Now this gentleman walk, is walking away, zipping up his pants. That looks a little suspicious. I'm sorry. When Donna and John met on the 4th of July, fireworks lit up their eyes despite their 13 year age difference. But after five years of marriage, they say their life together has gone from exciting to explosive. He's delusional. He decides to show up at my girlfriend's house, knocks on the door and tells her, I know my wife is going to be with your brother. They're doing it yes, behind I do, my Lord, back. Because these were words from her very own mouth that day before. Now, when I respond and I go over to her friend's house to say, hey, do you know that she's using your family member as almost sexual extortion as a way to hurt me? Is there any sexual truth to extortion? this? Sexual extortion? Oh, my Lord. Can Donna and John rekindle the spark they once felt, or is their marriage doomed to go down in flames? Today, on Divorce Court. Come to order. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Donna Stern Gaba and John Ramirez. The two of you have been married for five years, but you do not want to be married anymore. You have an issue you need me to resolve with respect to a pickup truck, and I will deal with that momentarily. But before I do, Ms. Stern, I'm going to start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today? We are here because I am tired of my husband's jealousy, okay? He has crazy delusions. I am constantly being harassed about what I'm doing behind his back. I'm over it. Okay. What kind of delusions does he have? Let me give you an example. Three weeks ago, Please. we were at the casino, all right? We go there, we have a little dinner, we're going to hang out. It's a Saturday night. They have some free entertainment down on Fremont Street. We mm -hmm. live in Las Vegas. I'm a gambling at, a, at, the, at the table. He comes over to, you know, make sure I'm okay. And in my ear, he tells me, what am I doing under the table with the guy sitting next to me? Oh is that crazy? That okay? is absolutely M ridiculous. I'm gambling. Mr. Mr. Ramirez, I don't care about did, the guy did you come next over to me? there and accuse her of a little under the table goings on? I did. Delusions. At the casino. Delusions. Hang on. Your Honor, her del her, what she calls delusions are simply an avoidance tactic to, for answering a simple oh, question yeah. I would have as curiously as any husband would. I did Are approach you the table. Hang on, next hang to on. Miss Ms., Ms. Stern, hang on. Go ahead. I, I did approach the table. I'll give you an example. There, there's numerous times this has happened. Now, I see Donna gambling at a table. Right. Sitting right next, I mean, and she's right next guy. If the guy turned his head, they'd be kissing. If there's five, they're, stop. So they're stop. right in each other's ear. They are right there. Now, I'll walk up to the table and not making an issue or a scene of any type. I'll let my presence be known that, okay, she is here with her husband. She's not alone. That, you know, and I won't say anything to the gentleman, you know, and I'll ask her, hey, how are you doing? Are you doing okay? Oh, no, I'm losing now. You just made me lose my mojo. And she likes to start oh to be raped. me. Mr. Ramirez, let me ask you this. You come up on a scene and you describe it as one in which they are inappropriately close. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Inappropriately close. Um, what and I, you feel that there may be some... Is, is it just crazy. the... Well, you're giving me crazy right now. <laughs> so you need to stop. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm trying to have a conversation over here, and you whirling around like, you know, you know what? like Spend a tornado. Five, hey, hey, hey. five years with him, you'll be whirling Ms. too. Ms. Stern, Ms. Stern, Mr. Ramirez. Y yes, Your Honor. People are gambling. They want to win money. No, I they, can they're, understand. They're worried about the cards and the chips and the lady luck. They're not really trying to, you know, and I tell you what. Those people at those places, they don't let you whisper, chit-chat, and do all this at Hello. the table because they think you're cheating. Hello. They, they, got, they got cameras that's and all right. this kind of stuff. So I think that scenario was all right here. Well, now, hang on. Can hang I on. give you some more Tell examples. me about the other delusions. Let me give you some more examples. I, I have a very high-profile job, okay? Mm -hmm. It requires me to be specific about the things I do. I was taking care of a situation at the where I work a big project we had going on. 10,000 square foot building, we're putting a, a new system through the mm -hmm. whole place, okay? I got six guys in the house taking care of their business. We're taking care of business. I got crazy uh. here 
who shows up at the location, okay? One of the guys tells me, I think there's somebody in the back of the building. I go out there to take a look, you know, what's out there? Oh, Who's I'm... there? He's there, and you wanna know what he says to me? I saw you on your knees. I saw dude come out adjusting his pants. Are you kidding me? Your Honor, okay. I, I have to respond to this. Are you kidding me? Because this is, Mr. This Ramirez, is a situation. I'm going to give you the opportunity to respond. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, simply, I walk around the back of the house. The entire back of the house is all glass from floor to ceiling. I can see directly through to the movie room where I see a cable guy, some random cable guy. There's nobody else there. The two are the only two in the house. Now, I can look through this glass and I see this cable guy facing into the movie theater. I see Donna directly in front of him as he finally notices me. He points to me, and I don't know what he says to her, but she gets up from off her knees in front of him because there's that a rack. That is absolutely uh, untrue. This is her excuse. There's a rack of equipment she was looking at in front of him. Now, she gets up and proceeds to cut oh me off God. before I can get close. I'm in the house now. Now she proceeds to cut me off and say, what the hell am I doing here? How come I'm here? I have no business here. And continues to berate and belittle me, again, professionally in front of these okay, workers. Okay, hang on, Mr. Now this gentleman no, no. Walk, is walking away, zipping up his pants. Oh, that is And they have not crap. three more words of conversation. He beelines out the door. Now you got to tell me, without me being able to even ask the question, that looks a little suspicious. It's I'm on sorry. His head. The only part that bewilders me is if she's doing what you were suggesting she was doing, I can't imagine them doing it in front of the picture window. Hello. Hello. At a, at a construction site. Hello. When Divorce Court continues, is Donna cheating or does John just have a vivid imagination? This hasn't been an old flame of hers for a while. She's also revealed to me times that during her last marriage she did have relations with this very same man. Want to give a wake-up call to a couple you think needs to either break up or get it together? If so, call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com or become a fan at facebook.com slash divorcecourt. Divorce Court is back with the case of John Ramirez, who wants to divorce his wife of five years because he is sure she's a cheater. But is John a far cry from husband of the year? Do you throw him out on the regular? Uh, you want to know why I throw him out? I'll tell you uh, why. So the answer to that question is yes. I've thrown him out several times. I want to know about the car show. Thank you. Let, I was, uh. That's what I was just going to get to. I have a girlfriend. Her brother and I dated when we were in fifth grade, all right? Uh, Will you go steady this with is the me? Story. I got to listen to his nonsense that I'm still having some type of relationship with that gentleman. They invite us to a car show, okay? I ask him to go with us. It's not it's not I'm not hiding anything. Everybody was going to be there. My girlfriend and her whole entire family. He decides that he thinks something's going on because he's delusional. He go. decides this to is, show up at my girlfriend's house the day before we're supposed to go to a car show and tell her, knocks on the door, I can't believe he even went there, knocks on the door and tells her, can I talk to you? Come on outside. I know what's going on. I know my wife is going to be with your brother. They're doing yes, it behind my back. Yes, I do, Your Honor, back. because these were words from her very own mouth that she, day before. Well, you she know what? told Mr. me. Hang on, right. Mr. Ramirez, go ahead. I, I got that, that much of the story. Mr. Ramirez, you respond. Now, th that is exactly very true, because the day before, in an argument, which she just exploded out of nowhere, she has serious anger issues, very hard to keep under control. Now. I yeah. did go over to I her friend's house because going. she told me specifically that she, yes, she was going to be going and having specific sexual relations with her old oh flame. My God. And then, now when I respond and I go over to her friend's house to say, hey, do you know that she's using your family member as almost sexual extortion as a way to hurt me? Is there any sexual truth extortion. to this? Oh now, my lord. Now, her friend is, is <laughs> flabbergasted, does not know what to say. This, the, her family member, now this has been an old flame of hers for a while. And we were all supposed to go to this car show together as a way to now, kind now, of now, squash this. Now when you say old this. flame, 
Well, fifth grade. Then, fifth she grade. says fifth grade, but it was also I'm high 50. school. She's also revealed to me times that during her last marriage, she did have relations with this very same man. So it's gone from fifth grade to to almost 50 now. And she wants me to not ever have a question about it. Now, she's seen what my ex-girlfriends look like. I have not even seen a picture of this man. She refuses. She keeps oh, him hidden like now, a secret. Miss, Miss this Stern, Stern so had, did it Now, there's is. also hang a... On, hang on. I'm talking. Besides this... I Excuse am me. speaking. Miss Stern, did it end in fifth grade? Or have you been seeing this cat on and off even throughout your last marriage? I was married... My first marriage, 20 years. When I left my first husband... You see how she avoids I, answering your I, question Mr. directly? Mr. Ramirez, please. I did revisit that, yes. Okay. Well, see, then don't come in here and tell me it was a fifth grade thing. You revisited it. That was 25 years later, though, okay? After but that's I've the part married. he's worried about. Yeah, but you know what? Thank he wasn't you. around. He wasn't around. I get okay? that. I, I get that. I'm around now. Ms. 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 Stern, yeah. I... I think that a lot, I think he's unreasonably jealous. I really do. But I also Beyond. think that when you have a guy that is really jealous, you don't go do things like hang around with a guy that you used to be with. I don't hang around with the guy. Thank Her, you. Thank his you, His sister Honor. is my friend. I don't hang around with him. He doesn't even live in the same town that we're in. When Divorce Court continues, what does John do that forces Donna to give him the boot? His bags are ready for him Monday morning, and I toss them right out the door. Okay? That is absolutely ridiculous. So. Do you think John is delusional like Donna says he is? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call 1-800-282-1991 now. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Donna Stern Gaba, who is divorcing her husband of five years while denying his allegations that she's cheating. But is the age difference the real problem in this marriage? You're 13 years old. Yes. Do you have an issue with that? I want to talk to you about things you're unhappy with her. I understand that she throws you out repeatedly. Oh, constantly, constantly. Due to her insecurities, she blames me for being insecure. What does she kick you out for? Thank Due you. to her insecurities, she says all oh. I want to do is go out and be with strippers and, and have sex with women that are younger than her. That I need to be with a young stripper that will never have a family Let together. Let me establish this. You're 13 years older than he yes. is. Do you have an issue with that? Does it bother Huge. you? Does it concern you? Here was my Huge. issue. Humongous. My issue was, and we discussed this when before we got married. He had never been married over before. Thirty times. Stop. He has never had children. I have been married before. I have three children. I could not give him a family. That that was the issue because of my age. Right. Okay. Do you throw him out on the regular? Uh, you want to know why I throw him out? I'll tell you uh, why. So the answer shoot. to that question is yes. I've thrown him out several times. And yes. why do you throw him out? Okay. He goes, he has a job that he just recently started, all right? He goes to work at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. He gets off at 2 o'clock in the morning. Friday night when he gets off at 2 o'clock in the morning, he don't come home. He shows up at Monday morning at 7 o'clock. Are you serious? Don't show up here. His bags are ready for him Monday morning, and I That's toss them right out the door. Ridiculous. Okay? That is absolutely ridiculous. So, respond to that, Mr. Ramirez. No, no, Your Honor, that is completely untrue. I did return home about 4 o'clock. I was kept after talking to my boss because I'm actually, actually doing very well there, and I was talking about a promotion and moving to another job in that same company. For two days? Now, I come home in the morning, and... Now, we've already had plans. You know, I have certain things I'm going to do with my check. I get home, I can no more walk in the house, and, and I'm already having to turn around because I got screaming Mimi. It's like I walk into the devil, and I just look, Don't and it's just a face. Were you gone for two days without explanation? Is that why she was angry? Not until after she kicked me out. 
Then when I was kicked out and I was forced to spend what little money I had to rent hotel rooms, I was gone for two days because that's how long it took her to come down from whatever cuckoo well, what fantasy she angry, that she had. What was she, she angry about to begin with? I'm not understanding why well, you got kicked out to begin one with. Of the, one of the reasons... Uh, Irresponsible. Why? Because she has an alternative agenda. I'll give you an example. Know. There's one time when I came back from being kicked out, and I'd been... I didn't have enough money to rent a hotel room the whole time. I was sleeping in my truck for two days. I'm not too good in good of shape. I come home and fall asleep. The next morning I wake up and I look at her phone. And that very same night, not more than an hour after I fell asleep, I see a text to one of her girlfriends. Finally, drunk ass came home, fell asleep. I'll be there in a minute. And now she's going off to my peruse girlfriend. with her girlfriends after I come Am home, I not which is to definitely see a girlfriend it's drunk. A were you drunk? I was tired from I'm sleeping drunk. in my truck for two days. When Divorce Court continues, what scandal do Donna and John get themselves into that has Judge Lynn calling them out? You guys are living in the right city. <laughs> Las Vegas. Lights and yeah, sirens and, 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 and fireworks and, and chaos and crazy and liquor and all of that. You fit right in that circus over there. Think John is delusional like Donna says he is? Call 1-800-282-1991 to vote now and see if America agrees with your opinion. You'll also receive some valuable offers. Call 1-800-282-1991 now. Divorce Court returns with the case of Donna Sterngaba and John Ramirez, who are getting divorced after five years of marriage. Tell me about the three thousand dollars you would like me to when award you. When we originally, you. when we first got married, within this the first year, stop. Mr. Ramirez didn't have transportation. We had one car, my car. Didn't have a, a hefty bank account that we could go to. Um, I, I took three thousand dollars from a family member with the understanding that Mr. Ramirez was going to make good on his word that he would pay at least a hundred dollars a month back to that three grand. We bought him a truck. The truck is solely in his name. He drives it, okay? And how long ago was this? About, I'm gonna say three About and a half three years, years ago. ago. Uh -huh. Because to this day, Zippo has been paid back. You want to let me, I'll let you know why, Your Honor, because there was no, 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 no. It was a gift. No, no, I don't know no, 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 no. Mr. Ramirez, I got some specific questions that I wanna ask you so we can end this thing quickly. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Not quick enough, thank you. <laughs> I want to know, what was the conversation that you had with Ms. Stern when, the, the, when she gave you the money for the truck? She says, here you go, honey. This is to help us out. This is going to get us started so you don't have to borrow my car anymore. That this is, is so not this true. is something that my mother's going to do for you as a gift because it's it's to help us because we were married. That's now, so not true. I did I was the only one working. I didn't need her money to buy a car. Okay. I didn't need a single cent All right. from her. Okay, okay, okay. But okay. he had no car. Hey, hey, hey. I got it. I got it. I got it. You know you, you guys are living in the right city. <laughs> Las Vegas. <laughs> Lights and Her sirens and, 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 and fireworks and, and chaos and crazy and liquor and all of that. You fit right in that circus over there. <laughs> I don't, you, you two don't think, you feel, and then you do. You don't have, there's no conversation. There's only conflict and confrontation. You two will never make it with anybody until you guys figure out how to, how to hear, receive, think, and then speak. And you guys have absolutely no clue how to do that. I have asked you question after question. I don't think once did I ever get a response to the question that I asked. That's I got a whole long story, the story and a whole lot of you Both of you. Both of you. Both of you. I don't know how you stayed together this long. Here's the, le uh, the legal matter. It was three and a half years ago. You guys were married. You had one car. You got $3,000 said, here, baby, use this to get a car so you won't borrow mine. There was no loan. There was no $100 payback. That doesn't make sense. Married people don't do that, and you didn't do that. There will be no recovery in this matter. It is so Thank weird. you, Ryan. All right. Parties believe the courtroom.
The problem with these two is neither one of them knew how not to get angry. But think about it. If you stay calm while your enemy is upset, you can spend your time thinking while he's busy being angry and then you have the upper hand.